starting out on freshly washed and conditioned hair. Did a little bit of a stretch just so I can get some easy movement here. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you have all your utensils that you're going to need as well as your products. I have my red tail comb here, my clips for my parting. I also got me some jam just to hold my hair into place. And can't forget to moisturize that scalp, so I got me some hot six oil here. Okay, okay, so let the process begin. And for the hair I'll be using today, it's going to be the Bobby Boss Novice Passion Twist 18 inch. It's like a T1B30. I really love that color. And for this look, I end up using about five packs. Listen, y'all, don't judge me. I swear, parting is my least favorite part of doing my hair. Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> And yes, your eyes are not fooling you. I begin to use my nails for parting. I seem to get the best parting whenever I use my nails, so judge me not. I'm an earring cast girl. Moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Since I was using a bit of a rubber band method in the front, I made sure to oil my rubber bands. You want to do this so that you don't break your hair, okay? Okay. And here I am just creating a plait or braid if you will and I will show you guys how I lock this into place for the next piece. I'm just going to slow it down just a little bit here so you guys can see I am separating this piece and I'm going to add that very front piece into that next braid or plait so that it can connect all together. And you're just going to go to the next section and complete the same process until your complete front is finished. Okay, so I've already started to install most of my pieces, but I am just going to show you guys a little bit how I am installing here. Slot my hook in and down, and take one of the pieces here. These are a little bit finicky because of how they have them twisted. They kind of unravel. You guys can see that. So kind of hard to do these than the ones I'm used to do. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. the bag. That piece is in, and I'll be back when I get to at least half of my hair. Um, got a little bit while to go, so.
So as I'm getting done with that first half, you will notice that I am starting to move closer around the perimeter of my hairline because I want to ensure that there's enough hair for the entire front. So that's what you see me doing here. So it is officially 6.37 p.m. I started my hair at 4.08 p.m. So I'm almost finished, but whenever I do my hair and this has this little opening here in the middle, I just usually like to go in and fill in some extra pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll be right back. finish this with some of my loose set here just to paint any flyaways or anything of that nature to kind of help the hair set And right along the hairline here is where that invisible parting method that I used earlier comes into play. Kind of gives you the effect that you have some individual installs in the front instead of crochet. Alrighty my doll babes and that is it for this install of the Bobby Boss Knotless Passion Twist. And for me I will say I don't think I would use the knotless again because whenever I usually crochet my hair it's like airless and it just flows. No, honey, no, sis. Let me show you what happened. Every time I got ready to do one, they ended up like this. They kept kinking, they kept nodding, and uh, sis don't need this, okay? Sis does not do that. So, other than that, I do like this hair. I like the texture. I love the color. I love the ends. Like, I love the hair. It's lightweight, it's not too heavy. It looks like it's, it looks full. It is full, but it's not heavy at all. Um, and for me, I'm the side part here. So this time I'm gonna be rocking to where my side part sisters is it. And I hope and pray that this install holds up at least for a few weeks for me. You wish I can get a month out of it. We shall see. I will let you guys know how that go. Please let me know if you guys have used this hair before. If you would use it, you know, things of that nature. Um, but thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me through this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not already for more futures of, you know, moi. You know, if you rock with your girl, click the button, support your girl. Um, and until next time, I wish you guys a fabulously blessed rest of your week. As always, lifting you guys in love, light, and blessings. Have a perfectly blessed day and week, doll babes.